What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ukula Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Once again, another zombies video here. This one, you might have seen it once or twice in your sub boxes already, but this one is going to be talking about the jump scare easter egg in Zetsubo no Shima. And for those of you guys on Xbox One and PC, you now have access to this map, so it's something that is definitely relative to you as well now too. But with that being said, jump scares have pretty much become a thing of tradition and a staple of every single map in the Jason Blundell era. The only one that does not have one is Der Eisendraka, which we don't know exactly why, but nonetheless, this one was hinted at for quite some time by Gamecode Blundell himself, as well as the communities egging on here to try and find it. With that said though, it was discovered not too long ago here by one team and also last night, which is where all this footage is coming from here. But the notion of a doppelganger easter egg was confirmed by the YouTube user Ryan0348 who posted this over on Reddit here and he got the jump scare. So I'll let you guys see that here right now. Now, for those that don't know exactly why it's called the doppelganger jump scare, is because, well, it is supposedly one of your own characters here. I think it's more so going to be to the fact that a player would be Richtofen here, so it's a doppelganger of Richtofen, but Richtofen basically just comes up, grabs you real quick, and then blows up his face, basically. So, it's very interesting, a nice little one here that probably would catch you off guard, and the massive scream is definitely something that would throw me off as well. Now, as for how we actually actually do this well it's actually not known once again there's only two cases so far of this doppelganger jump scare but in the first one they all went and did all the easter egg stuff everything was completed and it was at a later round but this one is at a lower round round nine and there's nothing really here that stands out they did some trials yes but none of their easter eggs or none of the wonder weapon stuff was done it was just basically a normal run through of a game so we still have no idea as a community how to do this, but it is one that I would definitely be very intrigued on how to see this actually happens. More information will probably follow here in the next couple of days because the hunt is now on tremendously now that we've seen it and now that we actually know that it is something very cool. Everybody wants to know how to do it. So that is we're gonna wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to showcase this here for you guys a little bit, show you a little bit of this Easter egg and maybe spark some influence here to maybe see if you wanna give it a go for yourselves to partake in this goose hunt here that may or may not turn out to be something very fruitful in the near future. But nonetheless, that's gonna wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think this one's pretty creepy? Do you like this jump scare or are you not too big a fan of it? Love to hear your thoughts, but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like rating down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 40,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help and is, of course, greatly appreciated. But, my name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.